I've moved my RFID readers from my little test layout on the carpet to my main layout and I'm going to run the same demo that I ran on the carpet layout here on the main layout. Uh, it takes a bit longer to run on this layout because it's so much larger. So I'll be pausing the videos every once in a while to uh, just let the engines kind of catch up with the actual interesting parts of the demonstration. So I'll show you uh, where I've placed the readers. There's the first one, the red reader. Uh, it's just masking taped to the bottom of the rails right now till I figure out what I'm going to do. Probably end up painting it black and uh, attaching it in a little more firmly to the bottom of the track. So there's the one reader. It's in front of this station. And here's the uh, second reader right there in front of this station. And over here is the third reader right there in front of this station. So we're going to go back and start up the demonstration. Don't know whether you're going to be able to see the screen very well from here. But here it goes. It's going to start up the three engines that are used in the demonstration. You can hear them starting up. The second one. And the third one. So I just have the three trains on the track. Uh, it doesn't matter where they are because the first thing that the computer is going to do is run them around the track, have them pass over the tag reader, and count how many engines there are. I'm going to pause the video here until the engines get over the tag reader. Okay, so now the trains are coming around the first reader, which is the one in front of this station. So it detects the first engine. Then it detects the second engine. Notice the little toot there. I have the engine make a little toot whenever they pass over a reader. And here comes the third engine. So now the computer has detected all three engines, but of course it doesn't know that yet. The only way that it's certain how many engines is detected is when it detects the first engine the second time. So I'm going to pause the video again 
and let the first engine come all the way around. So the three engines have come around the layout. Now the first engine is about to pass over the tag reader again. So at that point, the computer program knows that it's got three engines. It knows what order they're in. It knows almost where they exactly where they are on the layout. Speeds them up a little bit to make the route go a little faster. So at this point, the three engines will go around the track. And each of the three will stop at one of the three tag readers that are positioned around the layout. So here's the first one that stopped. So this engine has stopped at the first tag reader. The other two engines will continue around. Again, I'm going to pause the layout, pause the uh, recording for a second, just so the trains can catch up. Here comes the first train now over the second tag reader. And of course it's not going to stop, but this is reserved for the third train. Here comes the third train around the bend. It will pull up on this tag reader and then stop. And the first train is headed to the third tag reader where it will, where it will pull up and stop. So at this point the, the layout is now running in full demo mode. The computer will just continuously take each of the three engines, run them up to the next tag reader, and stop them. When all three engines are stopped, it'll start all three up again, run those three up to the next tag reader, and stop, and so on. So now all three engines are started back up. I'll pause again for a second. So here's the, the first train now coming up to its next tag reader. It will come to a halt. So I'll pause again for a few seconds. The next train coming up to its next tag reader. And it comes to a halt. One train left. Coming up to its tag reader. comes to a halt. So now again we're at the case of all three engines are stopped. They've all moved ahead by one tag reader. The program will now start them up again and they'll move ahead again to the next tag reader.
and this will go on until I stop the program. So the advantage of, of this, of course, is that even if the trains can't run at the exact same speed when they're set to the same speed, by using the tag readers, the trains are kept sequenced and kept away from each other.